I'm back with another video. Today we have Do You Know Who You Are? Bob Proctor. It's on both screens. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. You went to, you attended seminars, and you said your reason there was to learn more about yourself. Yeah. Uh, my experience has been people attend seminars, especially self-development seminars, to look for the answer. They want to know what is it out there I, I can learn so that I can be more successful? That wasn't your motivation? No, no, oddly enough. And I think probably you're right. I think that's what most people are looking for. I think they're looking for an answer outside of themselves, and they're never going to find it. Um, I think by this time I realized it was something in me. I uh, met a man here in Toronto. He was one that originally got me involved in studying this, Ray Stanford. And he told me if I didn't like the results I was getting in my life, mm -hmm. that I was going to have to change me because there were my results. And he said, if you're going to change you, you're going to have to find out something about yourself. Huh. And that seemed to make sense. Mm -hmm. uh, nice I don't think it point. was an earth-shattering idea. It wouldn't give anybody a brain hernia, but it made a hell of a lot of sense to me. So I started to study myself. I found most people don't know who they are. They really don't. What do you mean? I mean, I know my name. You done messed up already. You're supposed to despise the free lunch. Yet the people that lied to you and your ancestors your whole life bestowed something upon you for free of charge. A race, a name, and religion to keep you confined in a small space of thinking and even feeling your mind, your heart, your creativity, your spirituality, your innovation for you to be an obedient slave worker. Saying you are your name. Your name is inevitably a word. The smaller building blocks of that word are letters. Every letter translates into a number every number has a meaning and an energy behind it you ever notice everyone looks like their name that's why they say be careful what you name your kid his name's more powerful than others and it's a real thing some names people that fall under this name tend to be very great or not so great some names a lot of people are serial killer is weird it's, it's a real thing though because it still spells it's spelling it's words it's sorcery it's so yeah every letter translate into a number and every number holds the energy so you're giving this yeah again you must despise the free lunch anything free we, human nature by nature you take things for free for granted the people that lie to you your whole life told you you are at that that's what they got you off rip okay that's his name that's his race that's his religion. They lie. A race to what? A race is supposed to be a sprint, right? It's a race to what? Because I understand I ain't void of color. I'm not black. The Black Laws Dictionary and it ties into your jujitsu system with Maritime's Law arriving dead on the shores. For this corporation, America, the key word, corp, the first syllable. A corpse is a body. So I'm a dead body for your corporation on the shores and it don't work in my favor in your judicial system if I'm at court and I identify as this property in all caps, capital letters. And you are not your name. Religion literally means like to rely on the external source. So religion, name, and race. Again, I'm clearly not black. I'm closer to gold. You better off calling me gold. That's what I think I'm going to identify as now because we don't have our... Everybody got their right names and right languages except for us. You're not calling me African-American. I'm not two continents. Before America, it was Ty Mary. Get the fuck out of here. It ain't shit African about me. Um. Yeah, I'm gold. After all, I am part of the golden race. They say God's chosen people. They're refer referring them. I'm one of them. But, um, yeah, have y'all ever noticed everyone look like they name? It's like whatever they name you, the name scope you or you mold around a name, which is the same shit. Like, have you noticed that? It'd be everything, their mannerisms, how they act, how they dress, how they relate, <laughs> they love like everything. It, like you will become your name. That's very real. But let's continue, though. I know my age, I know where yeah, I that's live. not what you, though. You know, that, that, that's know what just size. That. That's wrong. You don't know your age. You seem to think we in 2024 now. I guess it is because we agree. 
and together we're God, right? And we manifest, actualize, and materialize the reality for ourselves. But you don't know what the hell it is. And this ain't the right calendar. It's not. It's not the right calendar. This Gregorian calendar is trickery. Just like the words is trickery. You think you're saying the words and, oh, you're speaking Ebonics. You don't even know etymology. I know people that text and type the words spelled wrong on purpose to avoid saying certain words like diversity. I have to make up for that. Everything has its opposite yet equal reaction. But yet you be quick to say like you I call you smart dumbasses. You was able to retain the information in school. They wanted you to learn, but they taught you lies. So nothing you know is real. It's all lies. Down to what you ingest in the foods. You think it's food is poison. The standardized American diet approved by the FDA. Yet you trust them and say they can't do that. They the reason your mama had legs amputated or she going to get her leg amputated. Or she died of health complications and they asked you to do a run in your family. That's the stupidest shit. Yet they must to be smart and have this title above their head, them qualifying as a doctor. You ain't too smart. I don't care if that's a part of your description. If you got the nerve to fix your mouth to say that to me, do it running, and you know that's fucking stupid. Nah, you the one got it wrong, punk. You've been at it for a long time. Like, all this shit is a joke. Literally. Like this shit. This shit be getting me. I. It's not anger, it's passion. Let's continue. If you ask the average person who they are, they'll give you their name. They'll say, I'm not Bob me. Proctor, but I'm not. Bob and Proctor are two words. My parents give them to me. They're called names, but it's not me. It's my name. Then somebody will say, well, this is me, but this isn't me either. It's my body. Cooking. Like you never phone down here to the to the studio and say body won't be in today. It's sick. Okay. You know we don't say am hand or am leg. It's my hand, my leg, my body, my name. Who am I? Well, that's an interesting question. Mm -hmm. And I believe if a person will start to study that and look for the answer, they'll find it. I know everything is composed of atoms. I know my jacket is alive. It's conscious and aware, like the double slit experiment. The double slit experiment elicits photons. They behave away when they know they're being observed. That may sound silly, but it's a real thing. Change the condition and the environment to where it can't detect as being observed. It acts in its true nature. Like humans. That's why my say so is humans behave like photons when observed. Meaning, when I'm all alone, you got face you show the world, you got a face you show your friends, and you got one you show no one. So it's like, who are you when you're really just alone? What do you think? What do you really say? Do you really say the F word, but you wouldn't say it because it go against social norms and community guidelines and the world to stone you verbally? So it's like, but if you let that person know that it's going to be broadcast across the world and millions of people are going to see it, then you're going to sharpen up a little bit. You're going to, or a lot of bit, and you're going to put on a character or you're going to walk on eggshells possibly. But it's, it's a, everything is composed of atoms. And it's like, do I want to so yeah that ties into me saying okay everything is supposed is composed of atoms atoms are alive and conscious and aware you may think a tree leaves and every single solitary blade of grass you just see is blowing it's doing what it's designed to do yet it's of intelligence yet it's of God God is everything the highest knowledge is unutterable for it exists as an entity in lanes which transcends our material words or symbols it can't be verbalized. It's not the matter if you not having a word it's in your lexica. Some things have to be experienced by the individual. Even if we both experience it, you still may perceive it different and kick it out, interpret it different to the one that want to hear. How was your experience? Like a psychedelic LSD ayahuasca, ayahuasca like trip. It's colors in the spectrum. It's things you see that can't be verbalized. It have to be experienced by the individual. But still, what make it unique is you can experience it with me. But yours may be totally different. You may have a good trip, a bad trip. Or you may both have a bad trip or both have a good trip. But it can be totally different. And I perceive it totally different. And if I try to relay what I can verbally, it'll be out totally different than how you would verbalize yours. So... I, everything is composed of atoms. Atoms is alive. Atoms is everything. It's God. How everything is connected to the collective conscious as well as the collective unconscious the pool of things so if the mass majority agree the populace the consensus agree and believe in something it actualize and materialize and manifest for them like it's, it's real at that point um 
So yeah, I'm Adams. Adams is a laugh. I'm everything. I am everything. And, hold on. I am everything and everything natural, my offspring. <sighs> yeah, so I'm everything. Stardust. That's the reason why you got these words. Like, um, Notice everything got a the tar at the end. Like a uh, rock star, superstar, doc star, mob star, uh, we all stars. Like everything gets even down to now what this I think it was a lady looking at her father's ashes from the urn with some kind of microscope or whatever, and then looking at it actually looked like stardust or whatever, like you really are and for things to take its form of the feeling of a physical thing is at a specific frank frequency. And everything is condensed sunlight, right? That's what make it like a material, like solid kind of thing it feels. But when you learn about that, everything is vibrating. We don't see it's vibrating because we see less than 1% of the electromagnetic spectrum. But really, if you're looking at it with a scope that can see what you can detect, everything is vibrating. My wall's not standing still. None of that. And these walls are flat. You think it's straight lines. Everything has cur everything is curvature, it's waves, it's motion, it's movement. Hold on. Yeah, so everything is moving. Everything is energy vibrating at different frequencies. And so somebody asked me what I am. I don't say my name, even my mom. I ain't had my father growing up, but she was still ignorant to, and still is currently, don't know, like, you become your name. You literally, your name literally scope how you look. Like, you look like your name. Your, your, your How you is, it's literally, it's your name. Um... So I know I'm not that, and I don't agree with, I'm banning, I'm starting a whole new bloodline. you like, that's crazy, you can't do that. God, yes, you can. I underwent neuroplasticity, I'm still am. I rarely think negative. If it was a lot of time I thought of just beating motherfuckers up, I never knew why. But like, it didn't know what I know what happened to my people, the indigenous and aboriginal people, even currently, how they perceptionalize us in the light that is in favor of us to what people got their preconceived notions of us due to how they depicted us and how they advertised us. It was just this colonizing capitalist in my comment section feeling entitled that I didn't react to another Taylor Swift video. Talking about she's the best lyricist. You a goddamn lie. I'm out here. And I've been doing this shit before YouTube. You got Tupac out here. You got... And... I don't even know how I got here, but... And the, the best things, the most creative, the things that we all love the most, it come from the most adversity and struggle. Don't nobody got no struggle like us. So I'm saying, like... I don't, again, I don't even know how I got there. How I just be flowing from here and here, and but everything pertains to one another. And, but yeah, that struggle, like how we depict it and the like. Therefore, we can never amount to a numbers of a Mr. Beast or whatever. It's not the, that you're not talented. You ain't gonna get nine diamond records like Post Malone. Nah, Post Malone is very talented. He's that too. And on top of he got the people as well as us to actually fuck with him for him. And it's different. Like it's just certain because you're not born with the sentence that went to that degree you're gonna have to do some super crazy shit or get a collab it's gonna have to be something different you just can't do that how they can do it we all see that and know that to be we're not gonna lie to ourselves here so again somebody asked me who i am i mean i am everything pretty much that's what it all comes down to i always knew this they proved it now to the ones that need logistics that don't nothing exist until I observe it. My, I got a car in the back. It don't exist until I get out there and observe it. And then how they say the word, I don't exist, you are everything, everything gets one. And then it's like, you only exist. And the next person, it's like some weird paradoxical kind of thing with it. Because it's like, I know this person having their own individual human-like experience as well. But it's like, you still, it's of the same waters. This is an ocean. You just got a cup and you're dyed a specific color or whatever. And I'm everywhere here. I, it's just how my mind works. I don't, how do I, how did I get there to the that entitlement? Like how people I don't know how I got there. But yeah, they asked me and I will tell you what I stand by. You have good and evil. Some say it's subjective. I say it's not subjective when it comes to you imposing your will on someone to have dreams and aspirations for themselves. You can take their life from them and put them somewhere that they scared to go because they don't know about it and they don't understand. So therefore, they stand under it. That's wrong. You can do voodoo. 
cast a spell on someone opposing your will on them that's wrong like so i believe yeah yin and yang the opposite yet yeah, equal reaction up and down sayonara so but i can tell you these are my codes ethics morals principles integrity boundaries righteousness and i stand by the 42 ideals of my ops i'm striving to be my own james bond Denzel from the book of Eli and John Wick at the same time and I'm going to train my kids to be the same way If I'm fortunate enough to have kids in the future I'm going to pick the future mother of my children based off as if I was the son I'm having because I would give me the best shot at life. He's going to talk be tall. Hopefully look better than me if it's possible Um, going to have my talents if he don't inherit my gifts He'll be more susceptible to picking it up and being And excelling faster than his contemporaries. So all that matter me learning all I'm learning They're going to have tripwire tripwire they're going to be able to assemble and assemble guns within a few seconds with or without a blindfold on they're going to know how to read maps they're going to know multiple languages they're going to know even a little bit of sound language they're going to know how to start a fire they're going to know how to swim if tossed in the ocean or need in to get away like they got from the squid game when a mob was hunting them down they're just going to be very competent and capable and militant they're going to know psychology they're going to know human nature they're going to know you have default settings. They're going to know how to change their settings to pass a polygraph, a lie detector test. They're going to be very stealthy, what I would have wanted for myself. And I really wanted that shit growing up. I just ain't have the resources to do so. So if I'm fortunate enough to do that, and I'm going to grow my own food, and I will be able to decipher and discern and test to see if my seeds are GMO itself. I don't want a third party. That third party can lie to me. You can have some whatever kind of seed sent. Government, I'm, I can be saying something that's going against the agenda. Government trying to get rid of me. They force him to do something. They bribe him, threaten him, or he's simply envious or jealous, or they hold one of his kids for ransom, and they force him to do the following. Then he poisoned me, and I, nah, I'm going to double check. I'm going to know how to discern and decipher and test myself. I don't want a third party. If you get shot out here in this apocalyptic out here, you can't cultivate your wound. You can't sow like life skills. Like I'm not hoping and wishing on a that it don't happen the history of this country is built off papal inquisition like activity judas cradle brazen bulls people imposing they will on people with people feeling maximum pain and it can't get back like like that and i refuse to be a victim of what i don't know so i'm gonna know and they're gonna know gonna be in me doing that for my household starting in the mirror fixing myself which i did i underwent neuroplasticity i'm still I rewritten my DNA. I should feel a type weight about these people that did this to my people, but yeah, I don't. I still believe in the eye for both of your eyes if you did it on purpose. Bitch, you did it on purpose. Meaning, you can say an eye for an eye. That can be universal. Everybody got to die, but I ain't everybody. I always been on the outskirts of things. I always been an exception to the rule. I say my eye is worth you and your whole fucking family treating out that. Now, that's how I so choose to retaliate. The mercy and the benefit of the doubt is in the don't do that. You still proceed to do that. You about to lose that. And that's real. I came up with that and I genuinely feel that way and I really act on that. So let's just keep it peaceful. Let's just keep it PG. I was really, really trying to keep it PG. I'm trying to keep it PG. So, yeah. My ancestors will truly be proud of it. When I say I'm starting a whole new bloodline, I underwent neuroplasticity. I rewrote my DNA with the affirmations and the corresponding feeling. I rarely think negative. If I do, I dial the channel. I understand I'm not all my thoughts. I'm observing and I can choose what I want to observe and what I do pay attention to. That's what a actualized manifest and materialize in my conscious as well as subconscious and my physical reality, even though nothing is physical. So I understand and man, that shit took a lot of work and that took away from being away from a job just over broke. Job is as fine as public business for private dishonest gain. Why you think you making an honest living to somebody behind the scene privately eating private parts gain it is honestly up your hard work and labor. Shit and me, I kill like a motherfucker before I... And I know what these people did, and currently too, and I'm just working for these people to share these this th these settings. No, you got me fucked up. I'm not doing it. But yeah, I know my ancestors will be proud, and they're going to have powerful names, because they will be sculpted around their names. They're going to have powerful names. If I have a son, I'm going to name him Itachi. If I have a daughter, I really don't want no daughter, but if I have to, I'm going to do what I got to do. I'm going to name her Anax and Amon, or Ida. The nickname will be like Ten Ten or something. That's just things that resonate with me and nostalgia to me when I grow up and on the things I like and I love. So, um, yeah, if I'm fortunate enough to do that, it's over. You will never be able to play them. They're going to know the history. They're going to know what you did with Hiroshima and Nagasaki. They're going to know that you lying, manipulated, coward bullies. 
That'll give them smallpox in a blanket. Then when they weak and lethargic, that's when you attack. You ain't give them the heads up, the honorable one. You can't be honorable with a dishonorable person. So they're going to know all that they're going to know to eat according to their genetic makeup. They're not going to need a third party. They're going to know all their life skills. And then they can have fun and the sky's the limit. I'm going to direct them to their own individual light. They're never going to give their power to some external sorcerer, your, your magical sky white guy, man, that resemble a cock. No. You seen Vladimir came out. He's neuromelanated if he existed. Jesus. So, yeah, my kids, man, they're going to. But, yeah, man, they better hope I don't get to do that. If I get to do that, it's over. Because then I'm going to lead by example. And when I start off in the mirror, fix what's wrong with me. I did. My kids, bloodline going to be. But I'm going to have to make sure the mother check out as well. Again, because I'm going to pick the future mother of my children based off as if I was the son I'm having. Start with my home. I will indirectly be helping everyone else out. For example, you do everything right in your household to the best of your ability. And our kids start mingling and my son end up dating your daughter or whatever. He's not going to be one of the ones. He's going to be very respectful, very gentleman, very masculine. And it's not going to be those little problems. The, the little stupid shit that goes on now with kids, the thottery, the, they breaking each other's heart. They doing bullshit. They ain't even moving the right way. They don't know no better. It's not going to be that. So it's like if we both do what's right, we're going to be helping everybody else out indirectly and even to society and contributing. Innovative and creative and literally knowing don't do nothing to nobody else that you don't want fucking done to you. Don't do nothing to nobody else that you can't take. Why the fuck you going to create a brazen bull and put somebody in there and you can't take being put in there? Coward bullies. So it's like we will be helping out everyone indirectly as well. So. That's what I mean. Start a whole new bloodline. It's not going to be Walker. I don't get a stipend. I don't get no percentage of equity from Walker's funeral home. Why the fuck is that on my last name? She ain't on no fucking better. It was the Walker family. I'm getting rid of all that colonizing capitalist shit. You can keep that. None of that cockazoid shit will be on me or my descendants. I know better, so therefore I'm going to do better. Hell, they might have one name. How Kanye just got yay now? Who got to have a last name? Who got to have a middle? I ain't got to do all that. They ain't got to do all that. I want to be off grid, everything. I ain't got to be super rich and none of that in the mansion. And these people are homeless and you got 100 bedrooms, bitch ass. Nah, my dreams and my aspirations and my goals, it's like no other. I ain't never hear nobody say the, the kind of shit I speak on, what I truly want to do. Like, I don't never hear, I never heard it. How people say you're a one in a million, one in a billion, I'm one in a planet. When I die, it will be another one will be born. Until then, it's one and that's it. And there's somebody else on another planet that's the one as well. Um, well. Let's continue. See, I think we live simultaneously on three planes of understanding. We're okay. spiritual creatures, we have an intellect, and we live in physical bodies. Okay. But because we lack awareness or understanding of who we are, we're totally locked into a physical world. And we let...